tell you what. London's homelessness has become an epidemic. There are approximately 170,000 people sleeping rough in London. That's more than half of the country's homeless population. The government has promised to make change, yet the finances that have been put into homelessness have shown no obvious improvement. We decided to tackle the problem ourselves. This documentary follows us as we get to understand the growing problems we face with homelessness and an initiative we developed to help those sleeping rough on our streets. South Bank is an incredibly diverse part of the capital, best known for its entertainment venues, markets, festivals, and there was even a television program devoted to culture known as the South Bank Show. As the name suggests, it is an area stretching along the southern banks of the River Thames. It is a hub for tourists to visit photography exhibitions, monumental sculpture, and other temporary art installations. The scenery, the view, the breeze, the Millennium Breeze, the Saint Paul's. Oh, we've just been by the river, the chase, the you know the uh, variety of people, all the activity aspects. Uh, just more or less the diversity of all the buildings and you know, being <laughs> right next to the river as well. It's really cool. The river, the skyline. You will find a wide selection of bars, cafes, restaurants and food markets, including the infamous Borough Market, which claims to have been serving people for over 1,000 years. Visitors are so overwhelmed by what South Bank has to offer, they may not be aware of the capital's homeless epidemic, which is forecast to rise by 76% in the next decade, unless the government takes action to tackle it. Spiralling rents, relationship breakdowns, substance abuse, poor mental health, welfare cuts and the lack of social housing has meant that the number of people sleeping rough has increased sharply in recent years. Um, I ended up on the streets because I was taking uh, drugs but I don't know if now. I was taking drugs like... Uh, relationship breakdown. Um, I got my redundant, my relationship breakdown and my name was on the tenancy. I caught my partner with a neighbour's brother. According to St Mungo's Community Housing Association, at least 158 rough sleepers died in the capital between 2010 and 2017. Howard Sinclair, St Mungo's chief executive, said, This is nothing short of a national scandal. These deaths are premature and entirely preventable. We noticed that homeless people were mostly situated outside food markets, grocery stores and tourism hotspots where they were most likely to get food, toiletries and items of bedding. Quite often, yeah, especially near the uh, Barclays Bank. There's a couple of people there and over by Guy's Hospital. Uh, maybe I did move someone. I, I don't remember. But... Today I haven't, but on other occasions, yes. Yeah. Uh, sometimes below the bridge. Throughout our trip, we noticed vendors selling local art and handcrafted items. However, they were greatly overlooked by the large establishments such as the Tate. Since opening in the year 2000, more than 40 million people have visited the Tate Modern and it is one of the UK's top three tourist attractions. It is estimated that the Tate Modern generates 100 million in economic benefits to London annually. Art fanatics from around the world visit South Bank with the intention of viewing collections held in the Tate and are overwhelmed by the magnitude of the attraction. Due to this competition, these local London artists were not receiving the recognition they deserved. We came up with the idea of starting an initiative which would both benefit both local artists around London and communities of homeless people in South Bank. Each of us contacted creative individuals we knew through social media and asked whether they would be interested in donating pieces of their work for a cause which would be in aid of impoverished communities of homeless people whilst getting their exposure for their work. We established that food, toiletries and bedding would be our best bet of offering help. 
We came up with the idea of establishing a stool near a row of shops where we would display donated artwork for public viewing. Next to each piece of artwork would be the artist's social media and a bullet pointed list of items. People would walk past and view the work, and if there was anything in particular someone was interested in, they would take the shopping list and search for the items on the list in exchange for the piece of art they had in mind. Not only will this benefit the homeless and the artists, but local businesses and establishments used to supply our donations would be supported financially by the shoppers. After we are satisfied with the items we have received, we will then contact local homeless shelters and food banks within our radius to donate to them. Using our personal Instagrams, we have briefly pitched the idea to our followers and have had a large number of people offer help and support with the project, which is overwhelming and reassures people living in the streets that there are people that care and have compassion, even without meeting them. Yeah, it looks good. It looks good, yeah. It looks good, yeah. Brilliant.